Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Samantha the Introvert. Today I want to give you my personal review on episode 5 of Deep Night. I already did my reviews on episode 1, 2, 3, and 4. Links are in the description below. So without further ado, let's get into it. The episode starts off with seeing a social media influencer live streaming about Deep Night Club. And everything was going great until the police shows up. Guy sees the live stream going viral and even some customer giving their bad reviews on the club leaving more people to give their bad comments about the club in the live. Wella and Great is worried that with the constant visit from police there won't be any more people to come leaving the club to eventually shut down. And if that's not worse enough, the club owner has to find ways to fix things by paying back everything out of her own pocket. She's losing more than she's getting. Luckily, her lover is there to calm her. Then we see Jump overreacting again when he's telling the story of the police to Saiji. Then we see Kenji came and Kenji is just too jealous to see Saiji with Jump and starts giving Saiji his favorite things to eat, leaving poor Jump to do nothing but stare at Saiji speechless. But on the real though, Saiji needs to set things straight by telling one of them if he likes them, go with that one. If he doesn't like them, say it, stop leading them on. Anyways, you can see less customers, but the real issue is Kempthis and Wella. Wella is still upset with Kempthis, and Kempthis is trying to get to talk to Wella, but Wella is ignoring him. So Kempthis decides to go where Wella lives to see Wella, and while there, he decided to help Wella's mother as well. While helping, the mother thanked Kempthis for being Wella's friend, and that she is grateful Wella has someone by his side. Then we see Kempthis came to make up with Wella, then went on the rooftop and they both apologized for each other's behavior and they both forgave each other. Then for some reason they both felt a bit wild and freaky to be doing things and almost got caught by Wella's mother but did that stop them? No. They were out here enjoying the summer heat while doing the deeds. I feel like Wella's mother might know about their relationship. Then Kemptis went to his mother to also apologize to her for how he treated her because let's be honest, he was not that supportive. He told her that as her son he should have had her back but instead he made her feel bad and agree with the negativity and told her to shut down her dream. He also asked his mother is if she has anyone who hates her enough to cause police to raid the club but she said she can't think of anyone. I wonder when she will tell Kempstis about her secret lover. So Kempstis decided to take a chance and take charge of putting ideas out to get the club to life. Then everything was going great until a guy decided to take drugs in the bathroom. Then Kempstis took matters in his own hands but the sound of the police made the guy get away. When the police came, they arrested everyone including the customers. And now the club owner is really thinking to herself to figure out who is out to plot against her. Not just her, but Kempis is under pressure and stress and Willa is trying to calm him. But when they got intimate by kissing, it would seem someone saw them. Then we see Kenji went to die about wanting to report a worker breaking the golden rule. Even though there are less customers, they still come for their favorite person. Then we see Kemptis upstairs and then we see Saiji downstairs making a remark on Kemptis taking charge as if he's like a boss. Then everyone started arguing with Kempthis until Dai came and Dai told them that Kempthis is the club owner's son which made matters worse. And to make matters even worse, Kenji told everyone that both Wella and Kempthis broke the golden rule and that they are secretly dating. Both Kempthis and Wella had to go to the owner and she said she knew their relationship but since everyone else knows she can't be there to help them but be fair and go by the rules. 
at work Weather showed up and saw both Saiji and Kenji and Kenji was not being very nice to Wella so Saiji took Kenji to talk. Saiji revealed that Kenji was always determined to get rid of that stupid rule but now he is being rude. Kenji said everything that he is doing, he is doing it for Saiji and Saiji said all he is doing now is not what he wanted and left Kenji. All while Weller heard and also others heard as well. The police again came and this time the culprit who called them came with the police and it turns out it's a family member of Kemsis who hates the idea of the club owner. Okay guys, that is the end of my review on episode 5 of Deep Night. Stay tuned for my review on episode 6. And as always, if you like my reviews, give them a thumbs up, subscribe, hit notification bell so you never miss any of my videos. And I will see you next time.